What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video. This is going to be very quick, a very quick video because this is coming from Sean Clark who has strong connections with Nev Campbell. I think they're the manager when it comes to Nev Campbell's uh, convention appearances, but they were on this or it was actually on their YouTube channel where they were on a on a chat with Jamie Kennedy and some some other person. I don't really remember their name, but they were going over the announcement that had came a day prior to when this video was recorded and acknowledged when Scream 7 could potentially be filming. I made mention of the fact that I've heard that it could start in the summer. Nev apparently told Sean Clark, who again has strong connections to Nev Campbell, Nev apparently communicated to Sean that filming probably won't start until the fall of 2024, of course, later this year. Two things. One that kind of lines up with the fact that I have been saying I've heard the script is not ready. Um, that also does not mean that Nev, when she posted that image, doesn't mean that she she didn't have more pages. But I would like to say that kind of explains why she only had one page <laughs> that she posted when she made the announcement. Two, it makes me curious about something related to the writing process. I want to say because I heard that Guy Busick would be going at this with some other writer, while James Vanderbilt would be off because he has commitments to another project, which was all again confirmed early last week. I want to say that my gut is telling me Kevin Williamson is pinning this screenplay with Guy and he's not going to get credit, or at least not gonna get the sole credit the way Guy has for whatever reason. That's just what my gut feeling is. I feel like Kevin Williamson has a very big hand in this screenplay more than we think uh and it could turn into something special it could turn into something being a big bust i will again remain skeptical until proven otherwise mainly because we're just thrusting sydney back into this ghost face chaos because there's this notion that her story isn't over and yes as i put out in the tweet today you are correct her story is not over but she's on a different path in this story her story to me and what has been presented is overcoming what has happened to her mother, becoming better because of it and accomplishing and gaining peace and then thriving in said peace. That is the chapter of her life that she is in. That is the chapter of her life I think she should stay in because she has earned that. That is clearly the creative intent behind what Kevin Williamson wants to do with Sydney, as he's made it clear even in his idea for Scream 6, she was going to always get that happy ending. So then why can she not just stick to that? She just needs to stick to that. This, con this notion that her story isn't over, yeah, it's not over. But why should her story be limited to just ghost face chaos and nonsense with ghost face and potentially losing and jeopardizing all of that peace, taking risks that don't really need to be taken, but also have to be taken in order to keep your movie suspenseful. And then if they bite the bullet or if they jump the shark and do something very, very, very bad, like killing Sidney Prescott, you're really going to be complaining then. And I'm going to be right there with you. I'm going to say this is why she should have just been left alone. All it takes is one clown and the whole circus is gonna come. It just takes one, just one. I just love Sydney. I don't need anything happening to her. I want her peace to just be intact. I don't want her in shambles forever. That's not what the intent was with this character. But going into another thing that seems to be a problem or could be a problem, don't forget IOTSE is supposed to go on strike this summer, potentially. They're not set to go on strike, but they could if they do not get their way the way the writers and the actors went on strike last summer. So then that could potentially jeopardize Scream shooting in the fall. I do want to also mention that Nev did say probably, according to Sean Clark. So it's not necessarily something she's saying is set in stone. Ideally, it would be better if they shot at the start of June and then worked their way all the way through mid-July to avoid the potential strike that sh could happen at the end of July, early August. Because then if they go on strike and the strike lasts all the way through fall, then you're not gonna have any Scream 7 shooting until sometime 2025. Cause it's gonna happen. It's just gonna then be delayed once again. And Scream 7 probably will be one of the most complex movies being made in this franchise to date. But that is really all I wanted to talk about. I think that 
Kevin Williamson does have a big hand in this screenplay. I do want to put that on record. I think he has a big hand in this screenplay. He likely won't get any credit. It, the credit's probably all going to be towards Guy Busick. Uh, since the, the story is mostly coming from him and what James Vanderbilt pinned in that original draft for Scream 7. But all of Kevin's input, I could see him just being more involved than just simple inputs. I think he's pinning the screenplay along with Guy. And Guy's just going to be the one to get all of the credit. It happens. That's how Hollywood can go sometimes. But you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about Scream 7 possibly shooting in the fall? Would you prefer it shooting in the fall? Would you prefer it shoot in the summer? Obviously to potentially avoid the possible strike from IOTSE who also wants their fair treatment the way the writers and the actors fought for their fair treatment last summer. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and in the description i will leave a link to the interview if you guys want to watch it and with the timestamp.